Her body was found, but what really happened? Now able to confirm that yesterday we recovered Nicola Bully from the River Wire. The name Nicola Bully. Nicola Bully. Nicola Bully. Nicola Bully. Nicola Bully. Once synonymous with love, happiness and family, is now shrouded with sadness, mystery and controversy. This is a case that's grip the nation, the point of speculation is quite massive. Nicola's disappearance has ignited a social media frenzy with hundreds of theories surrounding her disappearance. I know the police don't want us to talk about this. There is so much online speculation. There is a really strange mystery going on right now in Lancashire. Isn't everyone just gripped? Let's discuss because everyone else is. As for rumours and speculation, will they die down? Probably not. But we're here to talk about what happened to Nicola Bully. So, who was Nicola Bully? Nicola was a 45-year-old mortgage advisor who had moved to Lancashire from Essex with her partner in the late 90s. Nicola was a mother of two daughters and had a stable income, so it's fair to say Nicola and her family lived a happy, middle-class life, and everything seemed to be going quite well. But things all changed on January the 10th, 17 days before Nicola's disappearance. On that day, police and health professionals visited the Bully household in a response to a concern for welfare related to alcohol and menopause issues. 17 days later, she disappeared. Everything seemed normal. That Friday 27th of January, when Nicola drove from her home to the nearby village of St. Michael's on Wire after dropping her children off to school, she followed her normal routine as she walked along the River Wire with her spring spaniel dog called Willow. At 8.53, she sent an email to her employer and then a text message to a friend at 8.57 to arrange a play date for their children. At 9.01, she joined a Microsoft team call with her phone's camera and microphone switched off. She was last seen around 10 past 9, walking with Willow off the lead on the Riverside field. Police officials believe her phone was on the Riverside bench at 9.20, while at 9.33, a passerby discovered her mobile phone, which was still connected to the team's call. I got to about this red brick building here and I, uh... This, this is not right. But Nicola was nowhere to be seen. The only one around was Willow, and he was found alone near a bench, and the dog's harness was found on the ground between the bench and the river. And this is where the mystery began. It's like she's just vanished into thin air. The news of her disappearance spread like wildfire, causing a stir of panic and worry. We've mounted a really um, intensive operation to try and find Nicola. The police launched a full-scale investigation and scoured the area, searching for any clues that could have led them to the missing woman. Time was of the essence, but despite extensive searches of the riverbank, where her phone was found, all the way down to the river mouth connecting to the sea, nothing of interest was found, leaving the police perplexed and increasingly desperate for answers. The disappearance of Nicola Bully hit the headlines and quickly became a high profile case. The search involved the police, coast guard, mountain rescue, fire crews, police divers, helicopters, sniffer dogs and drones, with members of the public also joining in. I hope the community do the same thing for us as well and I just feel like everybody should be doing their part. Despite everyone's best efforts, Nicola remained missing. Her partner was convinced that she was not in the river. Personally, I'm 100% convinced it's not the river. People don't just vanish into thin air, just something has happened. And as the days went on, it seemed less and less likely that she would be found alive. Peter Folding, the head of an independent search team, called Nicola's disappearance strange and said that he had never seen something so unusual in his 20-year career. I don't know where she's gone. She's disappeared off the face of the earth. That's what this mystery is all about. It's very strange. Despite an extensive search of the river wire, the underwater team was unable to locate Nicola in the area police believe she fell, leading them to search the mouth of the river wire in Morecambe Bay. Then came the chilling discovery on the 19th of February. Lancashire police have confirmed they've recovered a body from the River Wire, just a mile away from where Nicola Bully disappeared. The family were immediately informed of the discovery, and just yesterday, the Lancashire police held a press conference, and the body was identified as 45-year-old Nicola Bully. Now able to confirm that yesterday we recovered Nicola Bully from the River Wire. Today's development is not the outcome 
any of us would have wanted, but we hope that at least it can begin to provide some answers for Nicola's loved ones. The death is being treated as unexplained, adding further mystery to an already perplexing case. The disappearance of Nicola has sparked numerous theories, with some now being dismissed due to the recent discovery of her body. My belief is, I think she's in that abandoned house somewhere, tied up, God knows what. There are three main reasons that could explain what happened. Accidental, suicide, or foul play. The possibility that Nicola may have accidentally slipped into the river has been one of the most talked about theories surrounding her disappearance. Our main working hypothesis, therefore, is that Nicola has sadly fallen into the river. Some speculate that her dog may have inadvertently nudged her into the water while out for a walk. This theory gained some traction when evidence of her dog's harness and lead were found close to the riverbank, suggesting that Nicola was also in the area at the time. However, authorities have been unable to find any concrete evidence to support this theory. Despite extensive searches of the river and the surrounding area, no marks or signs of struggle have been found on the riverbank. There has also been no blood or any other evidence found to indicate that Nicola was injured before entering the river. Additionally, no witnesses have come forward claiming they have seen her fall into the water or heard any cries for help. Despite the lack of physical evidence, authorities currently believe that Nicola's death was accidental. One of the theories surrounding Nicola's disappearance and death is that she may have taken her own life. This possibility gains weight from the fact that the police had visited the Bully family just 17 days before she went missing, following a report of concern for welfare. Nicola had in the past suffered with some significant issues with alcohol, they said which were brought on by her ongoing struggles with the menopause, and these struggles had resurfaced over recent months. This has caused some real challenges for Paul and the family. The visit was prompted by Nicola's significant issues with alcohol, according to a statement by Lancashire Police. However, some of the aspects of this theory just don't quite add up. For instance, why would Nicola have been making arrangements for playdates with her children and friends for the following week if she had planned to take her own life? Better yet, if she had truly intended to end her life, why would she have taken part in a work call just before doing so? It's also worth noting that walking into a river is not a typical method of suicide. Nonetheless, it cannot be completely ruled out as a possibility in the bizarre case of Nicola Bully. Foul play has been theorised time and time again. It's been suggested that Nicola Bully was not only abducted, but also brutally murdered and dumped in the water. The idea of such a heinous crime happening in broad daylight left many of us feeling uneasy. On the day she vanished, two suspicious men were reportedly seen lurking near a church when Nicola frequently walked. Given that Nicola was a regular in the area and known to many, it's plausible that someone may have observed her patterns and used that knowledge to their advantage. It's been theorised that the kidnapper or killers had been stalking Nicola for a considerable amount of time, waiting for the right moment to strike. The attack, if planned, must have been executed with precision and swiftness, given that the window of time to do all of the above was marked down to 10 minutes. But despite the intriguing nature of this theory, investigators found no evidence of a struggle which leaves the possibility of a premeditated crime somewhat uncertain. There is no third party or criminal involvement and that this is not suspicious. So with everything being said, I'm turning to you to ask the question of what really happened. Was it an accident, suicide, foul play or something else?